Is it business or pleasure? What is pleasure to you, I wonder? Okay, before I buy this, I need to check the the blacksmith, but this is plus five, plus five. Oh my god! Oh, don't. Ooh, I'm not that down there. Way. Life. Blackthorn. Sanctuarian, dear. Platinum sword plus one. Wow, well, okay, alright. I mean, I could just straight up do this, and that seems like a better idea. Bam. Lost you a good while. Platinum sword plus two. My best work, but it'll do. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. This is slightly better than the Demon Tamer Sash. No scratches, right? So then reinforce. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that should do you. All right. Anything else? All right, we got quests and quests. Hello, Nigel, head botanist. Oh, you're the tree dude. Uh, Sid, I. I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't hmm. say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late... Whoa. Well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However... As you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Tell me of these Morgan Beards. <sighs> Tell me of these Morgan Beards, then. But of course. If my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory Of creatures. course, of course. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. All right. All right. I wonder what this is going to open. Better potions, maybe? Hortons, Keeper of the Stores. Oh, bother. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I have two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? No, of, of course not. Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. Clive and gave her kind of a little bit of a have this side eye there. Be me. I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. And if you don't, I'll kick yours, Clive. What was that? What happened to my voice there? They said they'd give us new 
Do hunts. Noob. That stuff. Hunts. Kupo Kupo. Secret. Big Minotaur. Severian. Oh. Martha's Rest. West of... Okay. West of Rhiannon's Ride, Rosaria. North of Sauri's Rosaria. Let's do it. Might I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker. Or herringbone. What? Just what? An in. And what? Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord. But your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bocklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It's probably bandits. It is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south. Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. See the sword on my oh. back? It's kind of the thing well that then. I do. Be safe. It's the one thing I do. I probably could have fast traveled over here, but... Uh... I'm already on Ambrosia. I had some nice quality time with my chocobo. That damn bird's a menace. That damn bird. She nothing by it, I swear. Straight home now. What's going on? Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're going to be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. I'm a bandit who comes uh, up and it, it was you asks everything's okay. Only after that feather brain trampled me, I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these th these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection, and coin too. Sorry, friend, but we'll are be you the, the ones bandit? taking it. Oi, killer! It's time to collect. I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't uh, insisted we'd put on this little act. Thanks for the exposition. As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. All right. Killer. I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the handsome one, killer. Stop calling me that. Come here, killer. Yeah. 
Alright. Placing it as they're staggered could be could be a good strategy. Alright, alright. You made your point. Killer my ass. Who the Did he hurt you? fuck was that? Just some random dude? Alright. No. No, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. So you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. Yeah. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Thanks. Free of charge. You're the you nicest sure? person I've met in this whole town here. My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. How's that done then? Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. Clive. Sorry again for sending you all that way, but you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry. I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. Bundle of cloth. <gasps> Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Quaker's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these. No, 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 no. I took care of it. Score Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. Oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which, which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. I'm wearing red. Uh-oh. Hmm... I'm gonna say... Oh, Lush Red Velvet. Hmm. Black Embroidered Linen. I feel like this is gonna be a thing at a future point, maybe? Clive looks good in red, so we're just gonna say red. This one, I suppose. I've a mind to give a piece to Jill. Oh, Did never you know? mind. Quite the little oh. Hmm? Is it something Jill's gonna wear? Was amongst her lessons at the castle. Should have picked white Lessons. then. Damn. Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but when my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest to goodness princess, then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just have that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I think she never takes it off. She doesn't. <laughs> or perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. Douche. All right. How much more renown do I need to reach that renown? I think it's 185. I think that's what I need. Our man in Dalamil mentioned the Cooker's Guard haven't been seen there of late. How may I help you today, Clive? 
205. It's Cleric's Medallion Plus. Okay. Direwolf Jest. Don't I have that? Don't I have that already? Alright. Best of luck out there, Sid. Don't I have that? And I have Bloodhawk Jess. Okay. So there's a hunt here somewhere, right? Somewhere in Martha's Rest? I don't think it was Sorrow Wise. Though I think it was here. I'm pretty sure. And the other one is. Peter has bad short term memory. Kupo Kupo. Yeah, okay, so this one is rest of Rhiannon's Ride Rosaria, which is up there. This one, north of Sorrowwise. Okay, so they're both in the same area. Yeah, so one is west of here, so it's like over here. And the other one is probably over here. All right. We can get all three things done in one trip. So it's a big old Minotaur, so it can't be that hard to... Can't be that hard to find. It says west of this, so it's gotta be... Like here, maybe? Maybe at that house? No, 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 none of this. Over here? Oh, there he is. Wow, those are pissed off antelopes. Oh no, you're just a regular Minotaur. Yeah, these are just reg regular Minotaurs. Reglatars. Hmm. So where... Where are you? Where are you, Biggletar? Rectar, whatever your name is. Who, this him? Yeah, this him. Thanks, girl. Oh. Secret. Let's do this. God, that thing might freeze so close to me. His... Did I break his weapon? Okay. Laughs 
also um He hit like a truck. Well, no cause to sleep easier without him at their gaze. Definitely used all my potions on that. I didn't expect to, him to take out my whole health bar. It's all good. We gotta swing by town anyway. And I got plenty of money because I never spend it. All right, this hunt's gonna be a little more technical. I feel like it's not gonna be all smashy, smashy. No use calling Ambrosia now. What do you mean? Do it. Do it. All right, and we're headed. Definitely this yeah. way. Is that it right there? Is this it? Oh, it is. Oh, it's a me- oh, okay. It's a Machina. I didn't realize that.
Oh wow, he only hit it once? Interesting. Lots of dodging. Lots of dodging. Fun, though. All right. Electrum. Ooh. The marsh is near the abbey, certainly. Goblin Gardener? Let's see if they're down there. Not for Morgan Beards. I'll fight some random goblins. Why not? I love the Berserker Ring so much. I feel like... I don't know if I'm, maybe I'm missing out on a damage opportunity with it or not, but it's really cool. The size of a goblin's eye. Hi. Ow. Absolutely demolished by that. Love lightning rod it creates absolute chaos on the on the battlefield right, but these are our morgan beards, pretty cool right. well oops i've gone to this much trouble there's something familiar about this and it reminds me of home do we have a garden full of yellow Hopefully flowers maybe i've had my fill of goblins tell me about it so we have Electrum. Can I use Electrum for anything at the blacksmith? Okay, yeah. So, what it be? Use Minotaur main for that, but... Drake Slayer Belt. Ooh. That is much better. No scratches, all right? All right, I'm, I'm gonna assume that this is gonna give me different potions or make my potions better than they are. I don't know.
It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? Y you asked me to... yeah. I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tome. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. What is this going to be? Here we are. A file of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. Is it a... an accessory? Level 30. Morgan Beard extract. Necessary for increasing consumable potency. Oh. Alright. It just makes everything better. You have obtained a file of Morgan Beard extract, hereby increasing the potency of most consumables. Both potions and high potions now restore more HP, while strength, stone skin, and lionheart tonics last longer. Nice. Oh yeah, I haven't visited tomes in a in a minute. Maybe I'll go do that. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Wow. All yours. So this, combined with the other stuff, is gonna make my stuff Best do like. There, will make my potions do a lot. I just want to know how, how much. I'm not really gonna equip it. I don't think, but. 40%. Wow. Okay, I might switch out the the gouge damage. I don't really know what I would put it with though. Maybe just more attack power? Eh. 30 defense is a lot. But I kind of want like a more Lunge damage, burning blade damage, rising flames. I don't really use Scout, Scout Cyclone. I don't really use. I don't really care about like increasing damage. I mean, ignition does do a lot of damage. That might be worth it, actually. Uh, gouge, cooldown, wicked wheel. Yeah, those are the timely accessories. Um. I feel like Gouge isn't really used for its damage, though. I feel like it's really more useful for its stagger. Ignition might be. Maybe. Burning Blade, I wish I remembered that I could use that more often. Uh, I'm alright. We'll, we'll, we'll try this out. I don't really... What are the other accessories? Maybe I need to take a look and shop at t take a look at the shop and see what we have. Cause I know there are plenty of accessories well, don't here. Don't just stand there gawping. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Okay. Automatically charges spells. This one I'm thinking about. Because I don't really use, like... I don't, I don't know how it would work with Magic Burst, though. Give me more Limit Break, but I feel like I get it pretty quickly. 
But having it faster wouldn't be bad. And this is just... Ability points, EXP, and gill. Ability points... Kind of worth it. I'm gonna get this one, actually. You're rubbing me blind, you know. We've got, like, almost 3k. What does upgrading this do? Because I thought we were gonna get another one, so I was kind of saving it, but... Increases range of lightning and striking. Okay. Probably pretty good. Could upgrade it. Oh, but having two judgment bolts. Oh. Okay. Right, I'm gonna. I don't want to unlearn it. I just want to. Yeah. I want to save up to get two judgment bolts. One That's day, gonna be huge. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or... Oh. Would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. <gasps> Forbidden hand-holding. In D here. Damn it, Gav. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? Ah, uh, that's Kuka's. Gotcha. This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. going to Rosalith. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. What else are you going to do? I don't know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which... I'm not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all... We're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Well, it's Titan. He's very big. 
he really doesn't have much trouble just walking over basically anything. What is the deal with all of or Olivier, I guess. Olivier. Hmm. Damn, her face stays exactly the same. This guy's gonna die. He's gonna die at some point. Annabelle's gonna kill him, probably. Olivier. Second son of the em em Emperor Sylvester on uh, of, of the Holy Empire of Sambrique, and third of Empress Annabella, making him half-brother to both Prince Dion and Clive. His mother has involved him in the affairs of the Imperial Court since he was a small child. Hmm. Hmm. I'm afraid of that kid. I don't know what is going to happen, but I'm very afraid of him. Metia. This has to be something. The burning red star that sits beneath the moon. Folklore ascribes to Metia the role of message bearer to the moon. So it is common custom across Valestia to wish upon the star that one's heartfelt desires might be conveyed to the heavens and beyond. And it's probably like an ancient megastructure or, or like a crystal in the sky or something. Oh god, is it a crystal floating in the sky? Hmm. Haven't thought about that. All right, talk to Vivian. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. Thanks, Gav. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. Damn. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense. A fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The selfsame army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. Damn, they're right there. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. And he doesn't care if he destroys all of Roslith in the process because you said Kupka's forces sailed what up would he the coast. care what of Port is older then is the city safe quite according to the guardians of the flame the Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident but not without remark when they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith 
our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind mm. down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh, will you be going too? Yeah, I was gonna ask. I, Gav is on I've been actually long time showing to give up. That fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right, we should be on our way. Not sure. Lead on. Not sure what Gav's really gonna do once he. Turns in the Titan or whatever, but all right, here we go. Fortify the castle gates. At once. Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now. But it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. But I mean, that's going to happen when he turns into Titan and inevitably when we have to fight him, right? How are we going to prevent him from just one man. wiping he everything out in that so moment? Far. Keep your wits about you. I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Right, Gav. All right, let's do this. Oh. I thought I was ready for this, but... I know. It's like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Torgal! Can't go into battle without Torgal. Capital punishment. All right. This is not an invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. He, Clive, Clive is going to be extra pissed off whenever we fight him. 
Protect. Some opponents will cast Protect spells to raise the defensive barrier around their allies that shields them from melee attacks. When engaging protected allies, blah, 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 avoid using your sword and instead employ magic to quickly and efficiently dispel the barrier. All right. And there's only one fitting punishment. Yeah, disrespect him. I wonder if we get protect. Maybe that's a Shiva thing. Oh, man. All right. I yield. I yield. Come on, they yield it. Come on, they run it. Well, that will take your time, guys. What we have here, gentlemen. <laughs> you won't escape. Oh, God, where's my? I took off my thing. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What the hell? Why did this come up? Okay, weird. I'm not sure why it, it was off, but... Alright. Damn! <laughs> Didn't stand a chance. Okay, why did this come off? Did I do that? Alright, there we go. And laying about, can I destroy this catapult? Maybe that'd be a wise decision. Man, I can't wait for the Titan fight. I want to see how it goes down. Uh oh. Out of our way. Battle hounds. Destroy that man. All right, a little overkill for dogs, but felt good. Come on, take him. Stone heads, but how do you know? Whoa, what the hell? Too 
slow. Locks me out of the crystal, which is part of the problem. Whew. I avoided the poison, but I didn't hit him, so I guess it worked out. Ouch, 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 ouch. Nice try. Judgment. This Poison mist. That's new. Frame rate's going a little wonky in this spot. But that's okay. Bonk. All of these resources have to go somewhere. Because I'm literally not using them for anything. little barriers okay I can some of the environment is breakable okay, Torg wants to go that way but I'm gonna go that way This is... Ooh. This is... Annabella we're talking about? So... I feel like it's not as simple... As him just attacking to pull Clive out of hiding. Um... Pile drive damage? Eh. Ooh, I have enough for double Judgment Bolt. Yes. Yes. One guy? Feel bad. Ouch! 
Ouch, dog. Let me chill out, dog. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Loose. They have a curl. Oh. Ah, all right. Oh my shit, that looks amazing. Attack. Ready? What do you think? All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, okay. Here, Kay. Just before I landed the Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, I love curls. I didn't, I would never pronounce it that way, but I always pronounced it Corel, but. 
And it looks so sick, too. I love the, like, horns coming off Jill. of it. We meet at last, Sid. Or, or should, should I, I say... say Lord Ross, yeah, I knew. I... I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. What? What? To the festivities. Good boy, Torgal. Good boy, Torgal. Suppose it's up to me then. <sighs> Did not expect uh, that to happen. We're back at the castle, eh? Damn, he big. Where do you want me? You! Bring the prisoner! <laughs> yes, yeah, no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> You're talking about Jill? What are we talking about? Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> Damn, Gav. <laughs> I love you, Gav. Gav. Shh. Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. <sighs> we have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Yeah, my sword, please. Nearly forgot. You're a hero, Gav. You're an absolute oh, hero. I'm coming. With a vengeance. I have to get to the courtyard.
Okay, but this is like the same... No, it's not. It looked kind of similar. To the... Joshua area, but it wasn't. Don't you let her die. Oh, we are... Wow, we're like right here. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, sorry, sorry. Gotta... Gotta go save Jill. That's a big man. I hope you've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. His plan is probably just to run in and... Clive shit up, but, uh... Torgal! Torgal, look! Torgal, bro! Torgal got magic eyes? What is happening? It's a bloody wolf! Since when can Torgal do. Torgal! Said. What? what happened, Torgal? Since when? Jill, can you stand? Come, come, Lord Rusty. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! What? Goodness. Much obliged. Torgal's like a monster Stay hunter close. thing. Like, what is happening to him? And Torgal, thank you. Thanks, Torgal. Take all of them! Never explain what the fuck your job just did. Yes, please. Later, everyone, with me. Does, does Clive know? Like, ouch. Okay. Don't worry, I got the big one. I guess. Damn. Change direction so quickly. Execution? Ouch! 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 Who's dropping a meteor on me right now? Torgal! Hey. Was Torgal dropping those things? Still breathing, are you? Excellent. Then Lord Kupka's reward shall be ours. With two guys at these guys at once. Get him, Torgal. Torgal 
is the one doing that. He is super dead. Oh my god, it's so much fun. Alright, Torgal, explain. Somebody explain. Please. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Kupka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. Alright. But be careful. And Torgal? Do you keep doing whatever you're doing? Eat your... Eat your treats, I, I guess. Alright, well that was a surprise. Can I... Are you gonna... Can you explain? That's not... Like... Blood of Fenrir? Uh, launch several I'm in the charge or hot he just does these? Conjure a healing or to mend your allies. Projects toward what melee in front of an enemy causing a damage dealing shockwave. Smite of rage. Triggers multiple explosions in front of Torgal. Banish. Concentrate moon's light on an enemy, forcing it to the ground. Okay. Enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Damn. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without Cat. a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Cat. Truly. Cat's excited for the fight no too. To defend. No! Damn. Just tell me what you want. Sit's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. So it was Benedictus head in a box, but who sent it? Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. Tell him, Clive. So I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. Yeah! It was... 
You. I mean, I didn't send her head in a box, but I did kill her. You. You killed her. I did. Immediate Titan. <laughs> no? Okay. Then I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. Oh, he mad. We, we shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust. You will pay for what you've done. I'll tear you apart with my bands. Damn, he looks you wild. How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. Get mad, Clive. Get mad. You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity. And no mercy. Now die! <laughs> this, is so, this is so sick. Okay, he falls out of the kick. Yep, there's the kick. I think so. Okay, out. Got to drop him. Clive doesn't even transform and he just crazy.
stab him. Uh, ooh. Did I lose my limit break? It looked empty there, and I definitely didn't use it.
missile is hitting him though, so that's good. Titanic counter, all right. Kuka. Phase one? I don't know how to exactly determine that. But there's still one part left. Oh my god, that fight was awesome! Oh my god. Alright. My hands are sweating mom's spaghetti right now. off No, do it. Hit him. Get him. Get him. Mustn't get yourself worked up. What? What? Wait! What? Another time, Mythos. He knows who he knows stuff? Who is that guy? Ah! 
Can anyone tell me what's going on? Toral just ate that man's Is face that all off. Of them? I think so. Well, Ludus scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had to do. Where did you learn to do that, Toggle? Please tell. Please answer. Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Just start talking. Speech. Uh, we have to find Clive. I have the blood of Fenrir right. in me. Sorry. Someone turn around. Thank you. Thank you, Clive. Thank you. You missed one. We were worried. So was I. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. In pile Odin's. Not enough of them to worry us, But though. that guy isn't Odin. Right? Barnabas is Odin. Hmm. So, what? You think they came here to save him? Well, I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So, Kupka plotted with Annabella, who's part of the Empire, but then so Odin's forces show up to save him. I don't know what's going It'll explain itself at some point. We go back to the hideaway. I, I hope. It has to. I'm too tired to think. Me too. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kupka later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Well, you see, I found him when he fell from the sky. And I just never told anyone. That was, that was, a lot happened there. <laughs> a whole lot just happened there. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is... <laughs> where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Back when he I had hands. All the way Am I right? Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman. About what? The dog. About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill. Right. Ah. Have you learn anything? Will do. And you do the I same, guess eh? we have a, I guess there's no reason that animals can't be Jill. dominance, I suppose. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. 
So is Torgal like the dominant of Fenrir? Is that how... Is that what we're about to learn? Don't get me wrong, that would be... Sick. The power of Earth! Attuning with Titan not only changes the elemental aspect of Clyde's magic, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Wind Up. Titan's iconic feat is Titanic Block, which can be used to fend off most incoming attacks. Using Square immediately after a perfectly timed precision block will initiate a devastating counter. New hunts. Only one new hunt. An A rank. Ooh. Muddy murder. Rumor has spread it, spreading throughout the southern regions of Rosaria of a pool of opalescent ooze that has been sighted in the moors and meadows of the region. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go visit the blacksmith, and then we're gonna go fight, uh, whatever that is, another ooze of some kind. Oh, and I have Titan abilities to look at. What is going on with you, buddy? Titan channel. Oh, he's down here? All right. Muscle. Okay. Okay, what does upgrading this do? Mastery increases limit break gauge upon blocking an attack. Okay. Guard is maintained indefinitely while circle is held. Movement is possible while guarding, however, movement is reduced. Um, executing titanic block at the exact moment of an enemy attack is called a precision block. Precision blocks can fend off powerful attacks that n a normal titanic block cannot. Immediately after executing a, a precision block can deliver powerful counters. All right. Yeah, and this is the big punch. This is lots of fists. This is basically... Um... Gouge, but with punching. You precisely time the first strike can block an incoming attack. Blocking attack with raging fists will change the follow-up attack. Wow. Does a lot. Okay, and upheaval. Holding... Releasing the button when the marker is in the red zone maximizes force. Can be executed mid-air. Damage in effect. Okay. Wow. So that's normal. That's charged, but not properly charged. And then this is properly charged. Bam! And this is big punch. This is big damage right here. I like that this can be in mid-air. But this seems too good not to use. Considering it can... Potentially block an attack? Look at that. Okay. I feel like upheaval might be a little too slow. Okay, we'll, we'll start with Raging Fists. And if we don't like Raging Fists, we'll go with upheaval. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Coolest Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. Who, All right, who, who are you? Still busy saving the world. Who are you? Who are you? Mid. When did you get back? Mid? Mm, just now. 
What about your studies? Adjourned? Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. <sighs> While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. What? I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Sorry for what? Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest more like. Who's that? Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Boatman? What are you on about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. Damn. That little... So... Storm, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. I want to know who Mid is. Mididal Telemon. Student of engineering at the University of Canver. She is as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. Oh. She's the Sid. Gotcha. I don't know how to get to the storeroom. Well, she's a whirlwind, all right. I'll. Oh. I love her design, though. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Time. I no, get it. Her name is Mid because I'm oh, yeah, Sid, technically. I want to so she can't be Sid. Workshop, like the one mm. Mid, you've only just come back. And I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. If Sid could see you now. All right. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. She's my favorite <laughs> side I character. Say yes. She's just. Uh, Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. I already love her. For me. I already love her. I love her haircut. Who else? I love her outfit. What do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefit. Is this finally going to be me. where I use all that Apart stuff? I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. All right, what do you... Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. All right, I was going to go do a hunt, but I'm, uh... I guess I'm doing mids bidding. Like, we still needed a Sid character, because Sid's usually... He's, he's the engineer. He's... What... You know, that's... I just didn't expect Black it to be mid. What does it look like? I have a commission for you from mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yes. I'll see what I can do. 
Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. Hmm. My thanks. <laughs> and mids, no doubt. <laughs> Alright, step two. Was wondering where you got to. Mids back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. We don't have all this. Go and find it. Think you can find everything on there? This lot. Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment. It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to mid when it comes in. So if that's Thank you, mid, Aaron. or if mid is leaves the carpenter. Sid, Let's see if Bardolph's available. like the Sid of this game, that means, does that mean we're going to get Biggs and Wedge soon? What does this sword look like? Damn, all the weapons look good so far. They all look great. Could... Bart off at the pier. It's all right. Hey, I don't have anything to fear from Kuku because I cut his hands off. What is he gonna do? Nub me? He's gonna give me instead of Titanic knuckle, it's just gonna be Titanic nubs, and he just sort of. I mean, I guess it's still effective. As a fist, if you just cover it in stones, I suppose. Should be enough to keep us going. How do, Master Sid? Bard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us well, sink I'll go the patch mirror? them, and then you can I go ahead and spare mid all do that. The time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolph. <laughs> Least I could do. Hey, go and talk to Martha. But Bernard's probably in danger, and I probably got to go save him, right? Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Ah, uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. Where? Oh. Oh. Did I know there was a path over there? Is that always there? Did I not go there? Alright, we're gonna find out. Oh, you know who hasn't gotten pats in a while? Wait, is Torko even with me? There we go. I'm gonna pat you, Torko. Good boy, Torko. That's a good Fenrir. That's a good, uh... Battle dog. I don't even know what to call you anymore. Oh, I bet the lad who saved my life. Yeah? What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Well, I gotta finish building this thing, and uh, but there's monsters in the way of me finishing building this thing, so I need you to kill those monsters so I can finish this thing, and then I'll go with you. Right? Building a workshop, you say? 
Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And uh, if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though. Here it Could comes. I, before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Bogles? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. All right, let's go practice this Titan stuff. Rock. Rocks. This should take off. Test out this block. All right, he missed. All right, too early. Get down here. All right, plants. God. Pretty fun. That's pretty. All right. 
I still have to watch out for the for the attacks after that because it doesn't stop them from attacking. It's just really fun. It's really fun to do that. All right. There you go, Bernard. That should do it. I got to practice my Titanic block, and you, you got sure your uh, your hometown back. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Really, I've never... Maybe I wasn't able to go here, because I feel like I would have definitely... I would have definitely explored it. This is where... Oops. This is where that, um... This is where there's an S-rank hunt. That's... Th this is where the combat... Tr trial... That they showed off was. Is it here? Can I do it? No, it's not. Dang. This is where it is, though, for sure. Dang, I was really hoping I could get a crack at it. Alright, time to go back. Alright, Clive? You've all done, then? Yep. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant! Thanks, Clive. Is there... anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. She's she's my favorite side character now. For sure. Ooh. Reduces wind-up cooldown time by three seconds. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Oh, damn. Side quests. So wind up is the big punch. Three seconds is quite a bit. I feel like that might be worth it. Although 20% more AP. Yeah, why not? Three seconds is three seconds. Okay, so now we have side quests. The weight of command, do no harm. But I want to go do that hunt. Alright, where was it, Nectar? Kupo Kupo! Hawks, Crycliff, Rosaria. Okay. A rank. Yeah. Hawks Cry Cliff. Ah. It's a pretty open spot. Nope, that's just a rock. Whoa. 
Flan Prince. Oh, you're ugly. Don't like it. No, sir. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Ouch. Saga, okay. Stonega. Wow. Nice. Throw things at me. I don't think so. You can't just attack me. Dual cast. Oh, oh no. All right. though. Damn it. Okay.
He... That's a lot of damage. Wow. That's a lot of money. Gelatinous mass. Bye. Whatever it was. It was it was the flawed prince. Didn't you read, Clive? 